this. Hold on. And we should be live. What's going on? Welcome back to the New England Mountains. We're out here today and we're doing some black bear hunting. Doing some multiplayer hunting, so feel free to join in. Hey, how's it going, Ticker? I appreciate you stopping out here. What's going on, Rustic? How's it going, Jacob Mando? Um, cool man. Ray Povio, what's going on? You've been waiting for this all week. I appreciate that, Mando. That's awesome, man. I actually just got done shooting my bow at the uh, target range. Um, it was kind of fun. It started raining a little bit, but then it stopped and it cooled off, and it was really nice out. A bunch of deer came across, and it was a really cool sighting. Oh, speaking of deer. Jumped one up. It's a doe. Whoa. That was weird. It actually didn't let us shoot right away. Okay, but anyways, we're gonna be starting on the north end over here and we're gonna hunt this lake and then we'll hunt this entire river bottom all the way down here. Then I wanna eventually hunt this river system as well because in order for the black bear to come, you have to actually Hunt there at night first to take out the zones and then they'll come back during the day. So that's pretty much what we did. We are starting right now, man. We're starting right now. Nope. Definitely do not do any herd management whatsoever. In fact, what we're going to be doing is hunting completely different areas that we haven't really hunted yet. We have hunted raccoons, but we haven't really hunted bear in this particular location yet. Also, a lot of times the way that I do hunt is I don't just hunt uh, drink zones. I'll hunt, as you can see here, I'll hunt a lot of the mountains and all around certain areas that typically most people wouldn't go to. For instance, like here, you know, I've hunted there. Uh, this whole shoreline over here is really good for black bear as well and moose. And then, of course, all the way up into these mountains here are super, super excellent, which will eventually get up in there as well. It's just uh, right now we're going to start down here to uh, get some bear. Oh, I just saw something there. Bobcat. Also, let me know if the audio sounds good, the music sounds good, like usual. But this time, actually tell me the truth, because usually a lot of times you guys say, oh, everything sounds good. But then 10 minutes later, oh yeah, the music's way too loud. <laughs> so just let me know ahead of time. And uh, every time we see a bobcat, we're for surely going to take him down as well. Because we don't want these things around. All they do is scare everything in the area. Hey, JR, how have you been, man? Great to see you again. Sandra, how's it going? Great to see you. Yeah, it's pretty warm out. I've been getting ready to do some bow fishing again. Cool man 12, do you remember me from last stream? Yeah, I remember. So I recognize the profile. Hey, John Snyder, how's it going? Okay, there we go. Audio is good. Music is good. All right. I appreciate the insight. Thank you. Man, just got back from the donut shop. Literally stacked up on those things. Got two chocolate donuts, one white donut with some sprinkling. We just jumped up something right there. I don't know what that was. Oh, what was that? It sounded like a moose, but it looked like a bear. And maybe it was a moose. Unless. Yeah, no, it was probably a moose. I'm not sure why I thought it was a bear. Yep, it was for surely a moose. But uh, yeah, the donuts, they go so good with chocolate milk. That's my all time favorite.
From my side, everything sounds great. My quality, especially. I appreciate that, Sancho. Thank you. That's always great to know. You been good? I've been awesome. Thanks for asking, JR. Yeah, you're an OG. I remember when you uh, first subscribed to the channel. Hey, Davy Crockett's here. How's it going, Davy Crockett? Glad to see you here, man. And Aurora is here as well. How's it going? You got trolled by a mountain lion. Oh, I was actually doing some mountain lion hunting recently, and uh, I've been noticing they're kind of glitching out a lot. All they do is make sounds, and you'll run up to them. They'll just be sitting there. So I'm not sure if that's just on my map or if it's more of a common thing now. Hey, Cody, welcome back. Great to see you again. I appreciate that comment, man. Yeah, but as I've been saying, um, I'm really excited to do some bow fishing again. I went pretty hard two years ago. Last year, I didn't do any bow fishing at all just because I got so burnt out with it. I mean, when you go out 15 times, you got to drive three and a half hours to get there. And you're going eight to ten hours a day cruising the lake and you aren't seeing anything except for one i did see one like the second time i went in five minutes it was a about an 80 or 90 pounder i passed up but that was it that's all i saw so i kind of got a bit discouraged and i talked to a couple of guide friends of mine and they were saying that the water was way too high for all the good spots to be good anymore so basically the fish had a lot of places to hide and uh yeah sometimes that definitely can be a thing at least when it comes to bow fishing oh another bobcat all right we'll take down that bobcat as well and two more bobcats coming right towards us here <laughs> Roll the second one right over and the first one just crumbled as well. But then again, if you get hit with the AR 300, you're probably not going to go very far either. Especially at about 50 yards. Wow. Running almost heart shot. I mean, incredible shot. Just a tad bit too low at 40 yards. And that's a super cool looking Bobcat as well. Look at the camouflage on that thing. Very, very cool. And then we got another one here. And that was a running spine shot. That thing dropped right on the spot. But we'll try and find some bear along the way here. Well, you know, if the audio get worse, don't worry. Uh, I don't know if you would. <laughs> the sad part is I'll do a whole entire stream and then watch it back and be like, you could barely even hear the music in this. Oh, now that guy there. We might go after him with, well, I take that back. We don't have the AR-223. So we're going to have to take him down with this. Ooh. We dropped low. We dropped low. That shot was about a 280-yard shot. And I bet we drop right below the heart. Just low, but still low. Hey, I appreciate that, Cody. You have a new bow in Call of the Wild, but I have like 30 arrows because it costs $128,404. Oh, okay. You know what? That's how it starts out. You only get maybe a dozen or two dozen arrows and just make sure you take really good shots with that. The good thing is once you get a certain perk, you can actually pick up a lot of your arrows so you don't end up losing or really spending much money at that point. All right. There's just way too many bobcats here. And then we got eyes on a cow moose over there. Not really seeing any bear just yet, but there should be some around this point here. 
over there. Hey, Dandelion joined in. Welcome. And again, we're doing a live stream here in multiplayer. We created a map, so if you guys want to come join, feel free to stop out and join in on the fun. We have a lot of fun out here, and we really don't have too many rules. One, just don't hack. And two, don't try and steal someone's animal in front of them. But that's pretty much it. Mainly the don't hacking part. That's a very, very strict one. Because I can catch on to that really quickly. And at that point, I'll just kick you. It's just, that's it. It's done. We don't really give warnings about hackers. I mean, you can do it on your map. And the reason I'm saying this is because last time we were out on uh, Rancho Rancho.Rio and this guy by the name of David Goggins or something like that. I forgot what it was. It was something very similar to that. Um, decided to spawn in a bunch of uh, animals at the tent and when that happened it was not cool because all of a sudden he randomly got five diamonds in a couple seconds pretty easy to be able to tell when someone's hacking when that happens hey Neon we're out here on the New England map the New England mountains We took down this cow moose just because she was kind of in the way. Um, but I actually want to head to a particular location over here, which I've been waiting for to try it out. There should be some black bear over there. The only thing is we got to come in from this lodge over here. And hey, Marco, how's it going, man? Thank you so much for the huge super chat. I really appreciate that. Wow. How's it going? And hopefully you're having an amazing weekend so far. That's awesome. That's money. Thank you so much. You're a fine hunter. Hey, it actually worked. I fixed the timing. Because before, there was like a huge delay between the moment the alert would pop up and the moment that the sound would come on. Now it's pretty close. Honestly, it's way closer than it was before. So thank you so much again, Marco, for all the... Amazing support that you show. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, last time it wasn't working so good. <laughs> What's the weather like there, man? Marco's in Mexico right now. What is my next way of the hunter? That's a good question. And I think that I'll probably start playing there. Once we get uh, trail cams. I think that that map has a lot of potential to have some kind of trail cams in it. Holy, what the heck is going on here, guys? Booklick Buffalo, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that, Booklick. Great to see you again. DD is the YouTube call the wild man for sure. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's super awesome of you to say, man. Wow. Holy Mr. Steve's Gaming Adventures. Welcome back. And thank you for another super chat. Keep up the great content. Loving the videos. Oh, I appreciate the awesome comment, man. Thanks for the compliment. That's super, super awesome of you. What's going on, Wyatt Morris? Love the videos. You watch them every day. I'm glad that you like the videos. Thank you for that. We got a little distracted here because I'm pretty sure I heard a black bear calling. Or something. And then... Uh, Bobcat. That's what we got down there. So the bear for surely should be there. You watch them every day? I appreciate that. That's awesome. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure we may have potentially spooked these bear because we came in here a little bit too hot. And they probably busted us. That's money. Thank you so much. You're a fine hunter. No bear here. All right, time to That's head to the money. mountains. Thank you so much. You're a fine hunter. Time to head to the mountains. Over here. Nice. I literally just had chocolate milk, Mr. Steve's Gaming. Chocolate milk is so good, right? It's absolutely delicious. And Lambos underscore Zoom joined in. Oh, we got Whitetail. Oh, big Whitetail. Big, big Whitetail. And our buck is smoked. Don't you worry. He is not going anywhere. Especially the fact that we use the AR-300 as well. He is really not going anywhere after that. Hit the like button. I appreciate that. Learned a lot from watching your videos, so thanks. I'm glad to hear that, Junior. Thank you. Oh, we got a rooster. We're going to try and hit him in the air. Not going to be happening, though. Nope. I thought we had the shotgun. I thought we had the tent, too. Looks like we need to do some uh, sorting here. Hey, Rail, how's it going? Whoa, we need to get out of these mountains here. That was a beautiful buck and a beautiful shot. 157 yard, perfect lung shot. And a 213 whitetail buck. Would have been a solid gold had we had the right rifle. <laughs> but we don't have it, so this is all we have. And I'll take it. All right, we're going to head up to the next location here because this spot is not turning out to be too solid. The next spot we're going to go is down here and we're going to work our way down this river system here. What's interesting about the new Black Bear drink time is it doesn't update here. Like I've only been here at six o'clock in the morning and it's showing the old Black Bear drink time, which is kind of strange. And I'm not sure why it does that, but so it's also confusing because you never really realize uh, what time the bear do drink at. Yeah, last time we were streaming for like 20 minutes and nobody said anything, but it literally said the uh, stream starting soon uh, screen was on. For 20 minutes we were streaming and nobody said anything. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely my fault when that happens, but... We are no longer going to be doing any great one grinds. Nope. I mean, I'm not saying we're not going to hunt for deer consistently in certain areas, but we are not going to be going from tent to tent, fast traveling back and forth, shooting everything in the area. That's one thing that we absolutely will never be doing. No. What if I told you that we actually did have the AR-308 on us and we could have used that? Because apparently we did. I did not know that we did, but apparently we did. So anyways, <laughs> knowing that. Um, we'll get rid of this caller and the night vision. 
I like this collar a lot, except for the fact that it takes up so much space. Like, look at that. It takes up almost four points in inventory. So if we get rid of that, we have tons of room. Then we can even grab the AR-223 if we needed to, uh, to hunt some bobcat or some raccoons. We'll grab the 223 and then we will grab a tent along the way once we get up there. Uh, actually, let's pop in over there right now as a matter of fact. There could be some bear out there. Yeah, so in order to get these black bear, you literally have to hunt there during their nighttime drink zones first. Then you have to shoot them off of the zone in order to reset it. So that way it goes back to the daytime uh, drink time, which is the new drink time. Gobbler. Oh. Those dang beavers. What do you wish? Hey, how's it going, Gear? Arnie, good to see you again. What do you wish for in a future DLC except a new map? I wish for bipods for our rifles. Honestly, that's probably one of my biggest things that I want right now. Doesn't that look like a black bear back there? It's a rock, but it literally looks exactly like a black bear. And I've seen several big black bear in this area. In fact, there was a huge mythical uh, once upon a time where he would walk all the way through back to there and I never really got a shot on him. One time I had to take a super far shot with the rifle on the walk and uh, let's just say we didn't get him. I was going to say if that was his track there, that would be something else, huh? So anyways, I'm going to take this tent from here because it really isn't serving much purpose. Yeah, there's some white till here and some moose, but... Whoa, that's a bear. That's a bear. Uh, I guess I won't be taking the tent. Oh, don't run. Don't run. Don't run. I mean, you could try and run, I suppose. Probably not going to get too far. Yeah, not going to get too far. I'll tell you that. He's already going down. <laughs> well, we took three shots and he's piled up. <laughs> Bobcat taking off out there. It's a female, so we'll let her be. I'm wondering if there's actually a zone there, though, because it seems like that, that bear came out of nowhere, almost. Hey, Garrett, how's it going? Whoa, werewolf is in here. What's going on, werewolf? I just realized something. We need to do some uh, adjustments here. Can I do it from here? Yeah. All right, sweet. You'll probably figure that out in a second. Wilbur, how's it going? Great to see you. Glad to finally stop in, say hi on a live stream. I always miss them. Love your videos. Thank you, D. Lishok. Appreciate that. So I wonder if this is the same bear track that we just had from over there. These mountains are really good for black bear. Really good. What's up? Keep having major internet issues here in London. Two weeks of intermediates nonstop so hard for me to play. And stream. Oh, yeah. If you have bad internet, it's almost impossible to stream. Well, it looks like there's bobcat tracks here. But then there should be decent sized bobcat female. There we go. There's the bear zone. And yep, that's her. And she's piled up right over there. So that's cool. In that case, we'll probably end up leaving the tent here. I appreciate that, D. First shot was really far back. Actually, that was the third shot. First shot was too far forward. And the third shot was a nice double lung shot. 
at 170 yards. Okay, so we have him right here from four until eight. That makes sense. Then there's probably bear over there as well. But I really want to check this location here. Right over here. Then we can hunt up the river after that. What do you think the next map is going to be? I think it's going to be uh, some kind of Asian map where there's going to be a very unique kind of deer. I don't know, maybe similar to like the chamois, which are on what map is that? The New Zealand map. I forgot what it's called even. But you know what I'm talking about. Whoa. Why didn't that work? Oh, it did work. Hey, it did work, werewolf. What's up? <laughs> I was looking at your last message and I saw that it was the same. So then I thought, why didn't that work? Oh, that looks like a good bull over there. But it's really not that impressive. However, it is a bull. It's going great, man. It's going great. Thanks for asking. Just went back to do missions that I never did on Hirschfeld, and, and it's weird having to take roe deer and red deer with the 270. Yeah, I can see how that'd be a little bit strange. It's also weird knowing that you literally always have to have a tent on you because otherwise the beavers are going to come and take it. That is a weird thing. And that affects how many things you can carry. Yeah, you can carry the tent with you all the time and that's mainly what I've been doing. But then the thing is I find a spot that I really like so I put the tent up and then the tent is gone. And there's not enough room to put up tents here. Hey, Hunter for Tracks, how's it going? Just got rained out from working in the woods. I'm pleased to come tune in. It's going good, Hunter. Thanks so much for stopping in. And sorry you got rained out. It was actually raining here a little bit too, but then it stopped. Kind of just a strong mist and then a hard rain and then nothing and then a mist and then nothing and then another mist. But in between the mists and the rains is when uh, I was shooting my bow. Oh, there we go. There's a bear. Male black bear down here. That's what we're after right there. There he goes. Uh, decent male. Where is he going? Oh, that shot was absolutely money. Oh, we got him too far forward. Oh, that should have had him. I bet we hit him right in the front shoulder. Well, I believe that should take him down. I can't believe that that didn't connect. He ran right into that perfectly. Quite interesting, to be honest. It's not really that big a deal because it's only a five, but... If that was a seven, I'd be highly disappointed right now. And I don't think we really messed up that shot either. I really don't. Okay, so we got tracks here. Huh. I would kind of like to know where in the heck we hit because it's very unlikely that we would have messed up that shot but as I said before it's only a small male so we're not going to go after him 
we will instead continue on our journey to the north what's your best advice to get a diamond I would honestly say that you have to choose what animal you want to hunt for and consistently put in time effort and energy into a certain routine that you have um, like a pattern not necessarily going back to the same tent over and over but more so like hunt one river system and then hunt the woods and then hunt the river system in the woods until you figure out how to get the biggest animals to come out and uh, just keep taking down the biggest animals until a bigger one comes out eventually Coyote. What is the best shotgun in the game? Good question. The best shotgun in the game is definitely the new 10 gauge semi-automatic shotgun. We took it out duck hunting the other day and made some incredible shots on those golden eye, which I for surely. All right, you know what? We need to get the tent really bad. Really, really bad. Which one should we take? Where can we take a tent from? See, the thing is, I literally use every one of these tents. Like, literally. I even have a tree stand there. Oh, right here. I don't know why we left this tent here, but we need that. <laughs> we need this tent really bad. So the red dot is definitely worth using if you're into like quick fast shooting um, rifles or shotguns. But if you're, you know, like more calm, long distance, steady shot shooting kind of a person, then the red dot is not really worth it. You're not going to gain anything from that. Like for me, I love taking running shots. So the red dot comes in extremely help, uh, extremely handy in those situations. Oh, we can grab the shotgun right now. But then we can't get the tent. <sighs> Alright, we will get rid of the AR-223 for now. And so then we can grab the tent. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy, we got birds all around us here. Uh, why don't we have any shells on us? That's odd. We barely got loaded in time to a bunch of ducks landing here. Just tripled up. Can't complain about that. Ooh, should have had that one. Oh my God, there's a duck in the tent. There is a duck in the tent. Oh, guess we can't hit it. <laughs> oh, that's quite interesting. How can we spot it, but we can't shoot it? Whoa, where'd it go? Where did it go? That was kind of wild. All right, I know we got some ducks here. There's one. Yeah, I figured they were all teal. Is there one over there? Yeah, one over there. Glad to hear you're doing well. Thanks for asking. Hey, Isaac, how's it going? Another teal. All right. 
we got more teal coming in but we're gonna go to uh another spot real quick let's just pop over here and see if we can't take some golden eye home What's your best trophy? Probably the 340 scoring huge diamond muley that we got a couple of weeks ago. And the fact that we shot it with the recurve bow with no sights. Oh my god. Why don't we have any shells in the shotgun? Oh, we got one either way. So that was kind of cool. Whoa, what's this duck doing? Whoa. Whoa, 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 these ducks just landed. Oh, got a little too far. Where did that duck even come from? Not sure. I uh, appreciate that. Yeah, no problem, Rustic. We got a Drake Goldeneye. And it was 50 yards out. 50 yards out. I'm talking about like the 10 gauge. Oh yeah, the 10 gauge is awesome. I love the 10 gauge. And we got a Drake Gold Brown Hybrid Drake Mallard. Wow, that's actually somewhat kind of rare now because the piebalds are not rare, but these brown hybrids, as far as the Drakes, and that big of one, like, that's pretty uncommon. Especially the fact that we hit him at 98 yards. Well, technically, like, 100 yards out mid-flight with the 10 gauge. It's pretty impressive. And that's a nice-looking duck. Hey, Jir Arnie, I appreciate the huge super chat. I think that's from Norway, right? Thank you so much. He says... What kind of new animals would you like to be added to the game? That's a good question. Um, my number one animal choice to be added to the game would be the muskox. I absolutely love hunting muskox, not in real life, but in games. And uh, I don't know, they're just so big and like uh, very unique. Oh, there's a fox. That I would like to have a muskox. Where did he go? Got him. And uh, a map like Medved Taiga or something like that. Even the Yukon Valley would be perfect. So yeah, the muskox. And again, thank you for the super chat. Jir Arnie. I guarantee I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but hopefully it's somewhat close enough. <laughs> I apologize for that. Don't know what that was. You guys ever have that thing pop up on your screen on your screen and it says sticky keys because you accidentally pressed too many keys down at the same time? Uh, I make custom jewelry. Can I make you a arrowhead necklace? I think that'll be yeah. I'm all about arrowhead necklaces. That'd be cool. That's money. Thank you so much. You're a fine hunter. I'm going to try and get some trout fishing done in tomorrow. Audio is working great so far. That sounds awesome. What kind of trout are you going for? Man, I knew I should have had something besides donuts. You guys ever have that where you just eat like something that's very sugary and you don't have anything really hearty, but then your stomach starts feeling upset after that? Not like sick, but more just a little bit of, it's almost like a cramp. It's going good, Hunter. Thanks for asking. Is a 10 fabled deer good? That's as good as it can get. Yeah. Yeah, I'd definitely say that's a good one. Hey, big rack hunters. How have you been, man? 
Fantastic to see you again. All right, usually this area is pretty good for Black Bear too. Down here. All right, we got some bulls. I'm actually lagging a little bit for some reason. Not sure why. I think there's a raccoon cutting across there. Yeah, there sure is. Oh, I think it's because of all these ducks down here, to be honest. Mm. Also, another animal I would like to have added to the game would be the snow goose. I think that would be a super cool addition. Alright, Lambos. Actually, technically, I came over to you, so that was my bad. We're going to go back up here in just one second. I want to go through here. Yeah, we've never hunted this area, but I know there's definitely black bear up in here, all up in here. So let's try and work our way over there. Hey, old gray bear, that new 10 gauge semi auto is awesome. I know, right? I think the same thing. Can you believe it? We made a 100 yard drop shot with a 10 gauge on a diamond turkey. 100 yards. I remember when uh, the 12 gauge was around and you could go for like a 60 yard shot and the turkey would just fly away like nothing even happened. I mean, even if you could get it at 60 yards would be amazing, but to drop it with one shot at over 100 yards. Like that's just mind blowing to me. All right, we got some white tail out here. We'll take a look at them real quick here. Eh, nothing really special out there. Lambos, you're in the stream. What's your name? All right, we will take down this buck. And ah, oh, I really needed to get that one too. Really needed to get that one too. The thing is, even if we hit it once, it would probably take it out. Oh, you're neon. What's up? Um. Are you following? So Nia, we're not actually doing uh, like guided hunts right now. Well, so just feel free to hunt wherever you want, but not. Yeah, just don't follow us. That's all. Justin, should they add squirrel hunting? I think squirrel hunting would be a great addition. I do for sure. All they have to do is be able to add squirrels so that they can climb trees. Oh, you didn't know that dandelion? Yeah, we are. Yep. The reason I took this thing down is because he's really not good for our herd. Gotta take him out. Okay. You're from Norway and I totally agree about the muskox. Really? Oh, that's awesome that you think that too. Yeah, for me, it's always been a dream to be able to hunt the muskox with a bow and arrow in real life. So since I'll probably never do that, I want to be able to definitely do it in game. And um, ever since Cabela's Grand Slam came out, like the original Cabela's Grand Slam, when uh, they had the uh, the muskox in it, I just I was absolutely hooked on that, and I always tried to get one with the bow and arrow. But obviously, the mechanics in that game were so bad that it was almost impossible to get a shot off at one and actually hit it. And then one time, I finally did hit it after spending three and a half hours of trying to find one and getting close to it, ended up uh, not getting it. So 
Yeah, it's all about the rush and the dedication that it takes to be able to put you in that situation. So that when you actually do get in that moment, you know, you can connect and make it make it count. Okay, so you have speckled trout. Nice, Hunter. I don't think I've ever caught in speckled trout. We catch a lot of brookies, brown trout, rainbow trout. And that's pretty much it. But they taste delicious. What's up, Mr. Sausage? How do you take pictures in Hunter Call of the Wild? You just press the P button. And when you do that, the camera pops up. I think I remember when there used to be some kind of icon that the camera actually would pop up without just like uh like the visual but the actual camera icon would pop up you had to click on that okay there's a female there but we for surely got a call from a male he's probably way up ahead all right we're gonna go Hmm, where would a bear be? I know there's definitely lots of bear up here. 8 till 12 o'clock right there. That's where they'd be, apparently. Well, let's head over there. been all right trying to figure out what i'm doing in the future <laughs> start writing songs so that might so might go that way that's awesome man that's awesome yeah sometimes you just got to branch out of your normal uh routine and try different things you know you never know what you're going to be doing to be honest <laughs> That's so funny, you retracted the message. I mean, I kind of want to try and hunt some black, brown, latent lakes, to be honest. Turkey. All right, what's going on? Great turkey hunt yesterday, my time, New Zealand. Oh, thank you, David. I appreciate that. Yeah, that was one epic hunt. Oh, my God. Honestly, we spent at least an hour and a half waiting for that gobbler to come into range. It was him with, like, six hens. The hens all came right past, straight into the decoys. And he stayed out there at 100-plus yards. But he would not come in to the decoys or the call whatsoever. He literally drove me absolutely crazy. And the funny thing is, I took a shot to slow him down, and that actually brought him closer. Every time I took a shot, he strutted again and started moving in five steps closer. So he shot probably three times, and then eventually he cut into the brush. But when he cut into the brush, that's when he popped out at about 50 yards out and I would say we smoked him but we actually went right over his head like barely over his head but then the second shot we compensated just right and then we smoked him picked up some bull moose in here Hey, John shot a female black bear 30 yards away with a 10 gauge buckshot and only like five BB hits. Wow. So that I will say that about the buckshot. The 10 gauge buckshot is absolute garbage. It's so bad. So bad. 
Like the pattern and the spread of it is perfect, but there's literally no penetration whatsoever. You know, if a buck jumps up within 50 yards of you and you hit it six times in the lung or right where the lung should be, but you don't actually get penetration to hit the lung, then there's something wrong. Because not only should you hit the lung, it should drop the thing right there. All right, we're getting attacked. But I don't know from where. Where is he? Uh, I see you. Headshot. Why is it taking so long for her to go down with a headshot? That's a little bit wild. Ah, because it missed the head. And then missed the head again. Huh. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. Alright, sounds good, Neon. Hey, Simon, what's going on? Yeah, you can join in. We're doing a multiplayer hunt. Melanie, I live in Texas. Gear says we have muskox here in Norway, but they are in a national park and therefore not huntable. So it would make it would be a great it would be great to have them added to Call of the Wild in some kind of Arctic map. Yep, I agree with you. Some kind of Arctic map would be super super awesome. To be able to have caribou, muskox, moose, all of the above. Well, we're finding a lot of animals in this area. But just not any black bear yet. Which is also why we titled this video or this stream um, hunting new territories because we've never really hunted these spots. But I mean, I know they're in here. I know for a fact they're in here. 8 till 12. Tell you what, let's cut down there. And see if we can't get eyes on this one. What do we shoot over there? So yeah, for sure gear. That would be awesome. Turkey. No problem, Mr. Sausage. How's it going, Chris Hartland? Come to Turkey. Oh yeah, what's going on in Turkey? Can you guys even hunt there? Last I heard, it was hard to even own a firearm there. Should try Farm Simulator 22. That sounds fun. I'll be down to try that. My favorite rifle in the game right now is the AR 300. This thing right here. By far favorite rifle. You know, that's not a bad thought to have elephants come. Well, especially now they can't go back and say, oh, we can't add elephants because it's going to be too offensive to the game. They don't even care about it being realistic anymore. They're literally trying to turn it into like the shooting bot. <laughs> like if it wasn't for a few people out there, this game would be just completely an arcade style game. 
You know, Call of Duty for hunting animals. All right, there should be a bear here, apparently. Oh, we got a bobcat. Ah, there is a bear there, apparently. Down by the river. Watch for him. Oh, I thought I saw him there. Oh, that's not a shot. If he goes straight across, we can take a shot. Where is he going? I'm trying to watch for him, but I don't see him. See, it's so weird how that happens. The bobcat's crossing plain as day, but where's the bear? How? How can the bear just disappear? Unless he cut left. Well, that's wild. Yep, yeah, he absolutely had to have cut it left. Or cut left there. Hey, old gray bear tigers in an Asian map would be cool. Yeah, I don't know if you could ever hunt tigers. That's the only thing. I mean, I know you can hunt like leopards and uh... Yeah, I think leopards, that's all you can hunt, right? You can't hunt jaguars or cheetahs, I don't think. But I know you can definitely hunt leopards. All right, we gotta go back here. Yeah, we'll go back here and we'll hunt this river bottom. Because we need to find some nice black bear. All right, let's do this. What's the best place to kill whitetail? That's a very vague question. I mean, anywhere. You know what my grandpa would say? Right there, right behind the front shoulder. It's like the best place to catch big walleye. You gotta hook them right in the lip, right there. Oh, what spot did you go to? Or where'd you catch him at? That's the best question is, where'd you catch him? Caught him right there. <laughs> oh, also the raccoons are here too. We can do a little bit of raccoon hunting. Hey, what's up the bearded sauce? Raccoons are right there. And do we have the 223? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Nope, because we have the tent. And now we gotta get rid of the shock. That's the problem with this tent. It's such a pain. So now we're going to grab the AR-223. I'm not sure what's up with this glitch. Has anyone else seen this glitch? It's saying that the tent is not available even though we don't have it equipped right now because we just set it up. Uh, but anyways, just wondering if anyone else had that glitch. Ah, oh, that's the 223 that I want. Okay, so then we can pick this up. And we can put our AR-223 in here. Slot number three. Because it would be kind of cool to get a diamond raccoon too. That would be kind of cool. Hey, iron worker, what's going on? When are you going bow fishing again? I like your, uh, I like your IRL videos. So that's a good question. I'm actually going to go next weekend for the first time. What is it? April 20th. Wow. This month went by so fast. Can't believe it's already going to be April 20th next month. I mean, uh, April 30th, April 30th next uh, week. Oh, what do we got there? A bear. Smoked him. And a coyote. Which I think the coyote. Ooh, a fox. And a coyote. Ooh, a nice male fox. We gotta get a better angle for a shot, though. Ooh, I think that connected. Mm, nope. Son of a. I wonder what we hit though. Got him down to 50%. See, what are the odds of that? We came over here because we we're kind of done hunting for black bear. And we spotted one randomly over here. Hmm. We were actually about to go down here to look for these raccoon. Yeah, so next week or this coming week, I'm definitely gonna go bow fishing this coming week. A couple times. Hey, Davy Crockett, sounds good. Thanks for stopping out. I appreciate that. Eastern Cottontail Rabbit. And that is why the fox are here. All right, so we shot the fox there. And he ran this way. Then the bear is piled up right here. So the bear didn't go 20 yards. Got a nice right lung shoulder blade shot at 258 yards. It's a 16.7. Then we got this fox over here. Somewhere over here. Leopards would be cool. Yes, they would.
You should try hunting in Red Dead Redemption. The fun fact is you could ride on a horse and hunt animals. Yeah, I've seen videos on Red Dead Redemption. It looks a lot of fun. Nice, nice. You have Xbox. See, moments like this are what just makes my heart stop beating. Because that was a great shot. Like, if you're not going to give us a lung shot, at least give us intestine. Not nothing. And that's disgusting. That should have been intestine, liver, lung, and come out the opposite shoulder blade. Look it. Look at where it's going to come out. It's going to come out right there. High lung. But that should have been double lung, liver, intestine, shoulder blade. And it hit absolutely nothing. Well, like we're shooting a 22 at this thing. Even a 22 would have gotten tested from that angle. But it's a lot better than it was. I remember when the 223 was absolute garbage on the Fox. Well, any kind of small game for that matter. What's going on the flayed finally caught you live found your videos a few weeks ago uh, Helped a ton on finding good bow hunting spots. Thank you for the help keep up the great work I'm glad that my videos helped you out the flayed. I appreciate that And that's super awesome that you do bow hunting as well Incredible yeah, there's not that many people that do bow hunting and I do like it when you guys keep me updated and uh, let me know that you're trying to get a big diamond or whatever it is, a cool animal with a bow and arrow. It's super awesome. It makes me feel really good to know that you're trying to uh, accomplish, you know, difficult challenges as well. Do you realize that, uh, well, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but when we started the channel, it was called The Bow Hunter DD33. It was literally The Bow Hunter DD33. And then as time went on, I realized that that name was cool, but it wasn't as uh, direct enough. So the hunter was more kind of broad versus just like a very niche uh, topic. Or I guess style of hunting. Because not that we only bow hunt, we do tons of bow hunting, but we also hunt with, you know, rifles and stuff too. Oh, we got a lot of raccoon tracks here. Boy, these raccoon don't really drink for too long, do they? What, like 10 minutes max and then they're done? Raccoon over there too. All right, tell you what, let's go over here and then we'll start hunting. So we can at least cover some decent ground. That's super awesome though, you just found the videos a few weeks ago. What's up John Snyder? I just resaved my list after getting rid of a tent. Ah, oh, that's smart actually. I should definitely do that. Shizzle Wallflower, the Docent 223 has two weight instead of three like the Zarzo 223. Might be able to be carried with a tent. What? Nah. I mean, maybe. We'll have to check that out. Dude, if that's the case, that'd be super awesome. Or what about like the 243? Oh, I mean, we could definitely use the, with the 22 Hornet too. All right, this will be good. We'll set up our tent right here. And change the time to the morning. And the cam, your doors are gray. Are your doors gray? Wait, what? Ah, <laughs> oh, my doors. <laughs> Those doors. Yeah, they're gray. Yeah. They are like a very dark gray. Okay, so we're going to check out two things. One... 
We'll check this out first, and then we'll change the time. Hmm. Actually, no. Let's change the time first, so we can give this time, give this a little bit of time to like refresh. Werewolf is taking off. Have a great stream. Need to get some rest before my knee surgery. All right, Werewolf, take it easy. Thanks so much for stopping out. Appreciate you being here and uh, wish you the best of luck for your knee surgery, man. Get well soon. Get some good rest. All right, so we're going to check this real quick. So the Zarza is three. And the dosant, dosant is two, which is good. But then the 22 Hornet is 2.5, which is decent, but not as good. So how about this? How about we get rid of this and add this? You know, cool man, you just might be, or whoever said that. Actually, who did say that? Ah, I need to figure out who said that. Oh, Shizzle Wallflower, that's who said that. I was gonna say, you just might be a genius. Because we already have two ARs, we don't have to, we don't have to have like all ARs. Although it is cool to have them. Like right now, it's not really necessary unless we're jumping up, you know, big uh, packs of coyotes or something like that. Okay, let's get out of here. So then, oh, -ho! that is so smart. And now we still have the 223. So we can take down coyotes, raccoons and everything like that. I'm curious though, what is actually the uh, the capacity of the 243? Probably 2.5 or 3, huh? I mean, it's the same rifle, it's just not semi-automatic. That's the only difference. That's a great idea. Thanks for letting me know about that. Hey Gear, I thought I saw a message from you. Gotta go to bed, it's uh, I guess 12.30 in the morning there now. Keep up the good work and have a good night. Thank you so much and I hope you have a great night as well. Taylor Bruce, what's going on? Go to streamer right here for good tips on how to manage your gameplay and appreciate the help, bro. Oh, I appreciate that comment, man, thank you. Glad that you like the videos and the streams. Give us elephants so we have a reason to use the 970. Oh, raccoon, raccoon, raccoon. Big raccoon, big, big raccoon, big raccoon. Okay. Remember, we gotta use slot three to get the 223. Give us bipods. So right now we're laying down and we can take a nice perfect shot with the bipods on this raccoon instead of accidentally hitting the hill and not getting the shot that we want. Uh, it's not really a good angle. Well, that was a good angle, though. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, that was a shot. That was an epic, epic shot. I think that might have actually been a heart shot. I don't know. It dropped in there perfectly. Yep, that was a great choice, uh, Shizzle Wallflower. Thank you, man. Thanks for letting me. Thanks for letting us know about that. Uh, white tail buck. And is that that same herd as before? I don't think so. I think that's a different one. Huh. Well, let's go this way and try and find some more raccoons as well as potentially some black bear. Hey, Luke Burnett, I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, the 22250. 
is a two, and the ammo has 25 penetration over the 223 spot. That's what we gotta get. I don't know why I didn't think of that either. But, I mean, that worked pretty well. 138 yards shot, 9.81 gold raccoon. That's quite impressive. Let's see. It's funny how the 2200 will go straight through raccoons, etc. But the 223 has no penetration. Yeah, I kind of forgot about using the uh, 22250. I'm not sure why. But we should probably grab that instead. Let's see if we can put this out. It's so weird that you can't actually set the tent out here anymore. I feel like you used to be able to. You gotta find an open spot in the woods. Wyatt Morris, I gotta go. Love your videos. Keep up the good work. I appreciate that, Wyatt. Sounds good. Have a great rest of your night. Old Moose taking off over there. Alright, so no more. 223. I almost forgot about the 22250. I don't know how I forgot about it. Well, I know how I forgot, because it literally looks exactly the same as the 338. Except for once I customized it, then you can see the difference in it. Yeah, so we'll grab that. This has better penetration, supposedly. Well, we'll check right here. So, 223 has 10 penetration and 12 expansion. And the 22250. has 25 and 3 expansion, so less expansion, but more penetration. And we don't really care that much about the expansion, it's more of the penetration that matters. So there. Ah, we should really be able to reach out there and take some awesome shots. But then... We also should change the time. Yep, that's what I was thinking, Taylor. The 22250 has better long distance as well. Yep. I don't know. I've had a couple of uh, major mishaps with this 22250, and I think that's kind of why I stopped using it. But uh, one of them had to do with messing up a shot on a diamond bobcat. And it would have been diamond, too. But the shot was like 250 yards and I held for the spine and it didn't drop at all, which is really strange because every rifle in the game would drop at 250 and uh, this one didn't. So let's take a practice shot at once. Mm. Boy, that did not look good. Is there somebody next to us? Yes, there is. Who is it? Uh, I can't tell. They're right next to us. Dude. Who are you? I did not put up the tent there for you to use it, but... Uh, it's fine as long as you don't follow us. Please don't fall out. Oh, bear, bear, bear. Heart shot. That was kind of epic. Hold up a perfect shot. And he dropped. I do find it strange still that the 223 doesn't have that much penetration. Which is then why they added the 22250 to the game because they gave it more penetration. But 
Is it more accurate than the 22 than the 223? That's what I don't know about or not. Hey, Laura, how's it going? You're my favorite YouTuber. That's awesome to hear. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate that. And also, Shizzle Wallflower, I got you. Yep, I don't know what we would have done without that, man. Thanks for the advice. Perfect shot. I thought we hit double lung and heart, but looks like it was just a double lung shot. Oh, the fox. Oh, that's dandelion. Which is essentially Neon, I think his name is, right? Well, that was strange. Where was that black bear heading to? Because there's no zone down there. Hey, Nathan, how's it going, man? It's going good. Doing some raccoon and some bear hunting, and now we happen to have the 22250 locked and loaded, ready to go. What is the channel name? Man, I also remember when the channel used to be one name. It was just the Hunter DD33. It was all one name. But then I decided to put a space in it. And then I changed it to two spaces. So now it's the space hunter space DD33. Just got a mythical brown bear on Raventuli Coast map, then got an albino right after that. Lucky, lucky, lucky. What do you need help with, Laura? Hey, Josh, welcome. Doing some raccoon hunting and some bear hunting right now. Yeah, we picked up that raccoon. I was going to say, did we even pick that raccoon up? Hey, Summer Swenson. Right now we're headed to a location where uh, we last saw a really big raccoon a couple days ago. And then we're headed to another location where we messed up a big raccoon a couple days ago. Both max weight fours. So I feel like eventually we should get lucky enough. Oh, ooh, wrong rifle. Stay on him, stay on him. Oh my God, I think we hit it. Not very good, but. Oh, it cut back on me. Oh, come on. Not gonna be getting that one, I don't think. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Mm hmm. Well. It's going to go down eventually. Can't see it. He jumped up and uh, we couldn't get a clean shot. I find that the 223 is not the best penetration. No, the 223 has horrendous penetration. We got another hunter. Welcome to the channel and thank you for Whoa, subscribing. Whoa, did you just subscribe, man? Hey, Dandelion just subscribed. Thank you so much. That's awesome of you, man. I appreciate that. Bear, bear, bear. Can't see it. Can't see it. Oh. Nope. Couldn't see it. He got into that thick brush and couldn't see it. I mean, we shot where it last was or where it was heading to, but I couldn't see it after that. Uh, that's kind of a rip. I would have liked to have gotten that bear. Was there a bear zone here? No. 
So that must mean that there should be a bear zone over there, huh? Oh, we got a cow moose. Yeah, there should be a bear zone over here then, right? I want to hunt bear. Where do you find bear? What map are you hunting? Okay, so it looks like we did get a bear zone here. And it also looks like our raccoon ran right through here as well. <clears throat> You're from Romania. Thank you for subscribing all the way from uh, Romania. That's awesome, man. All right, so JR says the 22250 shoots flat up to 300 meters. No way. So you literally can take a 250 yard shot and hold it right on the heart without getting any drop at all. I find that hard to believe. We're going to try that. We're going to actually head out to Rancho in a little bit here because I know a really good coyote. Oh, actually change the plans. We're going to try that right now. I know a super good coyote spot where there's a giant coyote that feeds right here. He is massive. So we're going to try and get set up from over here and see if we can't take a 250 yard shot while holding it right on the heart and seeing if it drops at all. It's got to drop a little bit. It's just got to. Deer hunting 222, you can't join? Or deer hunting 2022, why can't you join? Oh my god, I thought I saw something good. It's just a tiny bug. Well, let's go for a shot on him. Actually, let's go for a shot on him with the 22250. We're going to hold it right on where the heart would be. And see if we drop at all. I can't believe it. I honestly can't believe it. Okay, first off, why do we keep spotting a doe when I'm trying to spot the buck? Did we hit the doe? Did we shoot the wrong deer? 220 yards. Alright, maybe that wasn't the greatest test. But, uh... It looked good. Yeah, it was. I'm not sure what the heck we hit though. Like, to be honest. Okay, perfect timing because at this point here, the raccoons are gonna be done drinking anyways. <sighs> even better, even better, even better. That's 150 yards out. We're gonna hold it right for the heart and see what happens here. We need to get a further shot. Too close. Way too close. Oh, 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 they're going to feed right there. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's scaring them? Who's scaring them? Is that us? Oh, it is us. Whoops. There's his prey right there. All right. I can't tell if he's spooked or what is happening here. It kind of seems like he's a little spooked. Okay, now he's calm. Wow, did you see that shot? That thing did not drop at all. Okay, we got to try and get another shot on the run on this second one. We should get one as he's coming around that next bend there by the river bottom. Right about there. He found something? Good. Glad he found something. Oh, coyote, 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 coyote. Nervous. Another gray fox over there. All right. 
Uh, coyote there. Coyote there. But I can't see this coyote. What are we looking at here? 210 yards. Oh, I see it now. There. And there. Uh, it's tough to see. But we should get a shot off right here. Come on, I just saw him right there. There. They're going too straight away from us. Not really a good angle for a shot. What'd you get? Uh, you found something? Where are you at? Oh, over there. What'd you get? Deer hunting 2022. Hey, I was just talking about you actually. I mean, I kind of wish we had the collar on us so we could call these things in, but I'd like to go for a far shot too. We got their zone right there, three till seven, so they should be around. Let's see. IRL on the 300 meter. Okay. There's a moose there? Whoa, there is a moose there. Uh, I bet he's gonna attack us. Watch this. Oh, no. He ran away. Whew, the amount of patience it takes to get a shot off on this coyote is unbelievable. Little cottontail rabbit. All right. Well, they should be over that next ridge. So we'll head over there and go take a look. Figured out where they hang out, right there. What's up? How about a wolf stream? A wolf stream? I don't know about that. Could get interesting. I feel like wolf hunting though would be a little bit too easy because they just attack you all the time. I mean, it's fun making videos. Oh, perfect. Dude, right there, 200 yards. Now, can we get up here? Is the next question. Probably should have just taken that shot because now I can't see. Oh, there he is. Female. Smoked him. Thank you so much for becoming a member. 
Whoa, David Uro, welcome to Hashtag Hunters. Thank you so much for becoming a member and glad to have you here, man. What a great addition. So right now we're trying to take down this nice male coyote out here at 250 yards. What we're trying to see is if we don't have any drop at this distance. And though we could take that angle, it's a bit risky. So we're going to hold off and wait. Uh, well, let's see. There's only four people here, so you definitely should be able to join in. Okay, there's the female. <sighs> 250 yards, we hauled straight on. Let's see what happens. It's not looking too good. Uh, the percentage just barely started dropping. So is she going to go down from that shot? Dude, how cool would that be if we could have just dropped the whole pack of them from here? Nah, I think they all took off. Well, we got her. So whether or not that shot was that good, we don't know, but she for surely went down. And that's kind of awesome. You went to the target range in Hirschfelden to test it. Wait. Oh, you went to the target range and tested it. Oh, there we go, Toxic. We need to get some prairie dogs in a South Dakota style map or like North Dakota. Yep, I hear you on that. Oh, 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 oh. Could that be our coyotes? Probably, but they're probably spooked already. I don't know. Let's find out. Did we make a good shot? Close captions spotted the doe. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I don't know. I feel like the percentage would have dropped quite a bit quicker. Do you think we hit in the spine? We did. We hit it in the spine. That's a decent buck, but that appears to be a pretty big buck, right? No. Huh? No, just a couple of decent bucks. Yeah, they got that decent rack, that's why. It looks like the big rack, but it's just a decent one. So yeah, I bet that's gonna be a spine shot at 250 yards, and we were not holding high by any means, but I bet that's probably gonna be a spine shot. No organs hit. Oh, more coyotes. Well, I guess we'll jump them up. All right, well, let's pick this up. And right in the vertebrae. Are you kidding me, dude? See that right there? I don't know. Why are we shooting high? That's so weird. It wasn't 250 yards, to be fair, but aside from that, that should have been for surely a good vital hit. All right, there goes all the coyotes and the male is up in the front. We may be able to get a shot at him as he comes around that next bend over there. Just may be able to. Hey, P Throne, what's up, man? Yep, we for surely are gonna be able to. 
Although he's not as far as I was hoping he was going to be. Uh, they keep running directly away from us. I do believe that shot connected. But probably got an intestine hit. Yeah, we got him. Holy, this 22-250 really does take them down quickly. Alright, where are we at here? We're getting slowly closer and closer to where we got to get to. Uh, I don't really think we're going to be looking for that coyote, to be honest. That would be some good target practice. If we could find a duck out there a long ways out and get a shot off on them, that'd be cool. But these ducks here typically just fly everywhere. All right, we're not gonna get that coyote. Don't shoot the rabbit, it's probably Easter. <laughs> Pretty much, huh? Hey, thank you, Summer, I appreciate that. Glad you liked the videos. Raccoon tracks. All right, let's get back on to the raccoon here. We're getting sidetracked with these coyotes. Hey, how's it going deer hunting 2022? Your server says full i've tried to join that could be a bug with the multiplayer but yeah there's for surely only four people here so it is definitely far from full the fleet if anyone wants to hunt this map i only have about 30 percent unlocked on ps4 well that's nice of you the fleet are you going to hunt rancho i'm not sure if we're going to hunt rancho or not did I say we were going to go there? And uh, what did I say we were going to hunt? Because I feel like we might have said that, but... As of right now, we're going to try and get some big raccoon and some bear. Oh, no. I said I wanted to go there to get some coyotes because I knew a good spot for coyotes. But I also know a really good spot for coyotes here where there's some monsters. So we'll probably go try and get a shot off on him. I'm just fascinated at the fact that this thing shoots so high. Well, it makes sense now that, uh... Well, who was saying that? Oh, JR was saying that. It shoots flat up to 300 meters. It makes sense. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Slow down or you're going to scare everything out of here. Moose. Okay, good. Luckily, we're not in the right spot. There's a bear track. It's a female bear track, but it's a bear track. Holy, I'll be the one. What is going on? And thank you so much for the super chat, man. Wow, that's a huge super chat. Missed a definite diamond warthog and have not seen him since. Do you know the range of an animal going to all its zones? Hoping I would see it the next day and just track it in its next feed zone. Any advice? Um, so yeah, he's for surely going to be on your map if you never hit him before. But the question is, are you 100% sure that you didn't hit him? Because if you use the AR-308 or any caliber around the 308 caliber, even if you hit it and don't actually know that you hit it, so say you just grazed it in the foot, that will count as... Uh, as a kill and it will take That's it down money. thank you so much you're a fine hunter so if you happen to hit it then it will no longer be there obviously it's gone at that point but if you for surely missed it and there's never been any hunting pressure on your map so the thing is that's the only thing that could happen say you just took a shot right there 
Oh, that's a nice ball. Wow, that's a nice ball. Holy. That's a very nice ball. All right, we're going to go for a shot on him right there. But anyway, say we took a shot right here. All right. Boom, we took a shot. We think we missed. We go over there. We can't find any blood. And we quit the game. Well, guess what? If there's any hunting pressure, the next time you come into the map in that area, then that animal is gone. So that's the only way that you would know whether or not you hit him or not. But if you don't check for hunting pressure and then, you know, you come back to that spot and you're hunting somewhere else. And there's a chance that you did hit it and you just didn't know it. But aside from that. That warthog could go between three to four zones in a circle of that spot. One time I hit a big animal. Actually, I think it was a Cape Buffalo in Africa. I hit a big Cape Buffalo like. Whoa, someone just spawned in. Let's just say I hit him right here. And, uh, or no, I didn't hit him. I couldn't find him. He was here the one day. Then the next day I came back and then he was over here. It's all connected to this one zone, but it's a really big circle, right? Where he's going to be. You don't know. He could be anywhere in that circle. And if you're not in the right spot at the right time, you're not going to get him. A definite diamond warthog. I mean, I wish you the best of luck. I really do. Like I said, if you know that you missed him, then he's there. It's just a matter of being patient and waiting for that perfect moment. Oh, frick. Holy, did we mess that up big time. That moose is not going down anytime soon oh my god really all right that moose might go down no nah, he's not going down He went down. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, well. Anyways, we got to change the time anyways. But I'll be the one. I've had that happen several times, right? Where I know he was there. I took a shot. Whether the shot was too far back and I had to end the game. Sometimes... You know, that happens if it's like a super special diamond that you've been wanting for a while. And you go back to that spot, he's not there. He'll be there, but not there necessarily. Like, say the zone's right here. The next time you come hunting, he could be down over there, three, four hundred yards away. But it's still connected to this same zone. It's just that you don't know. Okay, so you use the 338 or you use the 308 and there was no hunting pressure. Could the hog be on the other end of the map? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Yep, what I would do is just cover circles around that area and you know, make sure that you come back to that spot like every evening, but then during the day try and find his track somewhere else go you know like a mile or two away in the direction that you think he might have went and then go look over there and then kind of do circles and then at the end of the day go back to his zone and eventually he'll either be at his zone or in a new spot but you'll find him and don't get too uh don't get too worked up about it you know he's there you got eyes on him. He's there. That's awesome. You know, he's never, he's not going to leave. He'll be there. 
So all you gotta do is be patient and wait for the moment to happen to get him. You know what, JR? I really wish we had a 17 HMR as well. I really wish that, but it didn't happen for some reason. How cool would that be to be able to hunt for the raccoon and the fox with a 17 HMR? As well as the coyote, too. Oh, we're getting a little carried away here. I keep getting distracted. We got a call from a male. There he is. Oh, guess what? We got a nice opening here. We're going to get a shot off with the super accurate 22250. So we held low that time to compensate for the raise that it usually gets. And this time it didn't get any raise at all. Wow. You know, I really want to go to the range and test this thing out. I really, really do. Because I don't even want to mess up on uh, taking a shot at that coyote with this thing. All right, where can we go? I know. There's a spot right here where there should be some whitetail and it's about 250 yards out. Yep, right there. You're telling me we're not gonna have any drop at this distance here. Why not take a doe? I don't really care if we get the buck or not. Why not take the doe? So 280 yards with a 22 to 50. Well, technically we said like 260 yards. So we'll get a little bit closer just to make it more fair. Yeah, 260 right there. And we'll go for a perfectly broadside shot on this doe. Or maybe the buck if the doe's gonna move. Because right now, He's angled a little bit too much, but this buck keeps moving the same exact time as she does. The reason I like the buck better is because he's broadside. This doe is angled slightly at us a little bit here. Do you have a discord for fans and stuff? Yeah, I do have a discord. I haven't used it in a while though. All right, doe, you're really gonna have to move out of the way here. Or that buck could just keep going forward. Nope, you stay there, doe. You stay there, doe. We held it right on the front shoulder of that buck. To be fair, it might have been too far forward. I don't know, I just can't shoot consistent with this for some reason. That's what it seems like, at least. Oh, well, let's see what happened. Let's go see what happened. That's money, thank you so much. You're a fine hunter. Hey, I'll be the one. Thanks again for another super chat. Thanks for the good advice. Could you explain how to keep the cost of resting in a tent down? is $188 the lowest a tent will go. I have no clue what you're talking about as far as the $188. Oh, I know what you're saying. It's the resting cost. Basically the way it works is the more often you do it, the higher up the price goes. If you space it out over time, then it will be lower than usual. I'm not sure what the lowest price goes, but I know it goes up to when I used to do a lot of like consistent hunting in a certain area to try and find an animal like that, it's I've seen it up to like $1,500. So yeah, the $188 is probably as low as it goes and that's super, super affordable. We didn't get them, you guys, we didn't get them. But to be fair, it was on a white tail.
What do we got over there? Quail. Raccoon. Gray fox. But thank you again for another super chat, man. Uh, we got coyote there too. You know what? We'll just have to take your word. We'll have to take your word for that. And, uh... Coyote spots right there from 3 until 7. Oh, here goes nothing. Let's go try and get this coyote. So my question is, do we have enough room to take the collar now? Oh, just barely not enough room. That's okay, we can use this though. All right, sounds good. Going to sleep. It's two twenty-eight in the um, uh, two twenty-five in the morning in Romania. Good luck with the live. I appreciate that, Dandelion. Thank you. We're about to go after some huge coyotes right now. Just so you guys know, some huge coyotes. And what we're gonna try and do is call them across the river. So we can take them from off of this bridge. Right there, 290 yards. Boy, if we had the collar, it'd be such a sick setup. We could literally set that collar up down on the bottom down there and call them right in. they are dude there's the whole pack of coyotes right there they are 200 yards out from us we should be able to get them to come into the call of course the wind is horrendous been following your channel since the game came out great to finally be on a map with you hey john thank you so much and uh, oh you are here j mcgowan 20 glad to have you too, here too man appreciate that all right so we're trying to call in these coyotes here it should be coming this direction Then again, I'm not sure why they... Oh, right there. Oh, it's so hard to see. Oh, 
Oh, there he is. There he is right there. That's our giant coyote. He's a huge mythical. And he also could care less about coming into this call, apparently. What's the range on this thing here? 218 yards. I mean, that should be 200. Oh, 240. Okay, yeah, he's a little bit out of range, but he might still come into that. Nope, he's not coming in. All right. Plan B. To go back here, get our tent out, and then grab our collar. But ah, we can't even do that either. Because the collar is over here somewhere. I don't know why we left the collar there, but somehow it got left there. Let's just say that. Not too proud of that. All right, well, let's go get it. We'll be back. David Earl, going to have a hunt myself now. Great stream, dude. We'll see you on your next video. Sounds awesome, David. Hopefully you have a great successful hunt as well. All right, we're going to grab the collar real quick. We can call in this coyote. If we jump up any turkeys, they're fair game. Just so you guys know. And also, oh, there's black bear over here too. In fact, uh, I thought those were black bear tracks there. Oh, those are moose. Hey, Bass Pro, what's up? You watch the videos every day. I appreciate that, man. Glad you like the videos. Do you do a lot of bass fishing? Oh, there's a little hole right there. Can we hit it? Oh, we hit it! Oh, dude, that was so epic! We literally went right through that hole like it wasn't even there. Wow, that was cool. And our collar should be right here. here somewhere huh? well there probably would have been turkeys there oh I have a whole set of decoys here dude I didn't know that <laughs> I did not know that huh well, I'd like to get those eventually whoa, whoa whoa you're telling me we can't put this collar in here now close we gotta put the tent out well now we can get it All right, you know what? Let's just leave this tent here. So then we can come back and grab these decoys as well. Well, I have a bow. Ah, maybe I'll just leave these here. I really like this spot. This is a super epic spot for turkey hunting. Probably one of my favorite spots on this map. I almost forgot about it, to be honest. You know, mainly it's because these turkeys don't come into the call very good. And as you saw in yesterday's video, it can be a pain in the butt. Okay, hold on. Uh, looks like we got company. Whew.
Oh, that's awesome. You love bass fishing and catfishing at your local ponds. That's super, super cool. JR going to bed now. Have a great stream. Sounds awesome, JR. I really wish I could move this icon over because it's right directly in the way. Okay. Do you fish a lot like me? I do. I love fishing. Yeah. Have fun killing lions? What the heck? Dude, that's funny. Is there? Ah, I see that. That's us. He's there. Yeah, no hacking. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Oh no. Wrong button. Well, oh, there's turkeys over there. All right, how about this? We could go take down some of those turkeys across the river over there, right behind us to the right side. Right there. Oh, what a perfect spot to test out the 22250. Right there. And there's a gobbler out there, too. All right. Well, we'll see what the drop is like with this thing. I mean, just love when a modded player joins a server at level 72. I know, right? You just love that. At least I'm playing Call of the Wild right now, and you are doing that, and we both love fishing. That's super cool, Bass Pro. That's right. Or Bass Bro. Alright. 250 yards. Even better, we got a bobcat. 
Um, but we really need to get a shot off of one of these turkeys here. Oh, don't do that. Really? <laughs> you see why I shoot every single bobcat that I see? You see why? We just spent all that time getting down here to a perfect position. And a bobcat comes out of nowhere to spook everything. All right, let's try and find this bobcat. Where is it? All right, I've had just about enough fun with this thing. Uh... Oh, really? You're going to tell me you were sitting right there the whole time? Oh, my God, it's a huge freaking mythical, too. There it is. We dropped him. We dropped him right there. Holy, that was a big bobcat. Wow. Wait, why are you hacking this Anthropia? I mean, honestly, if he's not, like, spawning in all kinds of random diamonds and super rares and stuff, then it's not really affecting my map. But, yeah, I don't really recommend people doing that. All right, here he is, a 27.04 huge gold. Bobcat and we got a 130 yard shot liver and lung as well Ooh, that's actually a cool gray one I like that a lot but what we do want to do is whoa uh, find out how it shoots at 250 Okay, so there's raccoons over here. Maybe we'll go there. I only use it for money. Can't spawn animals. Okay, well, I appreciate your honesty, man. That's uh, really nice of you to be honest like that. Turkeys. All right, let's go back and try and call on that coyote. Spending way too much time doing this.
All right, let's go get set up on that coyote. So we'll put out the collar right over here and should be able to get that coyote to come in. In fact, we should be able to get the whole pack of them to come in. All right, here we go. <laughs> you can't spawn animals. Uh, just don't be promoting different uh, hacks like that, man. I mean, I know you're only trying to be nice, but you're still in a sense promoting hacks and that's not good. Yeah, I wouldn't accept that either. That's good that you don't accept it. It's like you don't accept uh, stranger from candies or uh, candy from strangers. <laughs> Tried to get a reindeer, but it outsmarted you. Oh, man. All right, let's find this coyote. Right here, 220 yards. Now, I've seen this caller call them in now to 250 yards. So, I'm not really too concerned on whether it will reach them or not. But I am kind of concerned at where in the heck they are. Should be there. What was that? A fox. Well, I suppose if we don't get a coyote to come in, this fox could come in too. They should be right out there. It's odd that we don't even see one of them. We'll set it up right here. And on the way back, we'll try and call in this fox. that we don't see any of those coyotes. Oh, the pancake thief. I'm so sorry about that. I've definitely done that before. Well, no fox are coming in.
Let's try the coyote. Well, that's odd, John. It's also odd that there's no coyotes here anymore. Try something once. Apparently, there's a coyote over there coming in. Um, I'll come back here tomorrow morning. Try it again. I'm not sure why they weren't there. I think the new high caliber rifle is glitched, had no penetration despite having the 7 to 9 ammo. Oh, the AR 300 you're talking about? Where'd you hit it? Did you hit it right in the front shoulder or what? What's up? Gotta stop in and say D33 forever. Let's go. Thank you so much, Vincent the Keeper. I appreciate that, man. The dead center where the heart was? Are you saying it was facing you? Because if it was facing you, then there's a good chance you didn't get penetration uh, since their fur is, their skin is so tough in the front. Hey, Bass Pro, I play on PC. All right, come on. Let's find these coyotes. Hey, thanks, Vincent. Glad to be here too, man.
All right, coyotes. What's your deal? Why are you not showing up now? There we go, there we go, there we go, we found him. Yes! Okay. Time for the coyotes to come into the call. Here they come. They're finally coming in. Here they come. The whole entire pack is coming in, guys. And there's our giant mythical. He's finally stepping out. All right, so they should be crossing the road any minute now. Right there he is. And they're crossing the road. Remember, we have our collar set out on the bottom of the opposite riverside down there. Right there's the collar on the opposite side of the river. And these coyotes are right here crossing over the road. Coming in perfectly right to the call. But we got a female out there. And another female out there. There's our huge mythical. Here we go. He's about to step out. About 200 yards out right there. He stopped. 170 yards out. And then he started walking. <sighs> I would have taken that shot. That would have been a super epic shot. But we'll be patient because he's coming closer. Oh, there's the female. And there are the other female. How many females are out here? One, two, three, four females. And there is the huge mythical stopped at 160 yards. But he stopped right behind that tree. So that is not going to be a shot. Oh, check out how cool this is though. They're coming right across this river all the way right into the collar. And they're going to stop right there at 150 yards. Oh, no, don't stop behind that big boulder. Absolutely perfect setup. If you would just step out a little bit more. Look at this. We got coyotes all around us here. Oh, there we go. He's stepping out. He's stepping out. There he is, right there. We smoked him. But we're holding it right on the heart, so it's kind of strange. We doubled up right there. We we're holding it right on the heart, so it's kind of strange at the fact that it didn't drop on the spot.
We got three. Oh, technically two, because that one's not going to go down. Uh, it actually might. All right. Well, that was super awesome. Well, let's see where we hit. We were literally holding it right on the heart for 160 yards. And it probably shot high. Uh, I didn't think about that. It was facing me. Yeah, if you shoot it when they're facing you, you aren't going to get the same penetration as if it's broadside. And that's the same thing in real life too, so you can't really get too upset about that. Alright, where is our coyote? Right there. They're both right here. Here's our big male. And here's the female. Kind of smoked her on the run. Double lung liver stomach shot. 180 yards. But here is our huge male. And he was almost a diamond at 54.70. But that hit exactly where we were aiming for. Okay. So I guess we were just a little too far back from the heart. But still made an incredible shot there. Yeah, that's very, very accurate. Right there. And that was a giant raccoon. I mean, uh, a giant coyote. Holy, I'm getting hungry. I can tell. But, yeah. Um, we officially got our coyote here. I'm getting really hungry, so I'm going to have to end the stream. But uh, we should be streaming tomorrow, though. Hopefully, I'll have some more energy. Today, I didn't have much. So apologize for that. But thank you guys all for being out here. I appreciate that. And you guys all have amazing energy. So you guys are all awesome. And hopefully you have an amazing rest of your day. So thank you guys so much. And we'll see you next time.